We come bearing gifts. It's a three pack of playoff implications. The Vikings, as you heard, looking to bounce back off that loss to the Lions, whether that be a pursuit of the one seed, not likely, or staving off a live Niners side there on the three line. Then it's going to be Baltimore and Cleveland. The Ravens underperforming but skating by both with and without their star quarterback. Low, no Lamar again in this one. And then buckle up for that nightcap. High flying heat testing their hand in the Buffalo cold as Miami looks to get right against the Bills. Kick fast approaching in the land of 10,000 lakes, so let's start there with CBS senior NFL writer Pete Prisco and all things ball analyst Danny Cannell. Uh, guys, let's go eye test here off the bat because Minnesota looking to wrap up the North again, uh, going for win number 11, playoff bound, but then you take a look at the score differential, some of the defensive numbers, and there's cause for concern there. Pete, how do the Vikings stack up when you look at the rest of the NFC right now? Well, I think, you know, I used the word fraud a couple weeks ago, and it supposedly uh, didn't sit well with a lot of people in Minnesota, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, I, I get it. Look, you are what your record says you are, so you got to give them credit for that, but it hasn't been pretty at all. They've struggled in a lot of areas, particularly against the pass, and they play a ton of off coverage. Think about this. This is a team that plays off coverage and still is last in the league in passing yards. That is not a good combination. Teams have hit them with the big play. They've been victimized at long drives with good passing attacks, and I think it's been a problem for them all year long, and they haven't adjusted. That's the biggest concern about it. Offensively, look, they can score. We know that. They have outside players in Jefferson and Thielen and Kirk Cousins when it's not a big game can make a lot of plays and Dalvin Cook can run the football so they can score the problem is they can't stop anybody which is why there's such a, uh, a disparity on how people look at them are they their record or are they a fraud and I think they're probably somewhere in between yeah I'd agree with you Pete I mean they're a very interesting team and it, I mean I think you can use the term fraud to describe a lot of potential teams that aren't the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC. I mean, the Cowboys have had their moments. The 49ers have a rookie quarterback that's at the helm. The Tampa Bay Bucks look anything but like a solid choice. So I think they're in the mix. Like I think Philly's in their own category as the best team in the NFC. Then I think you got the Cowboys, 49ers, and Vikings sort of in that next tier. But I think the one thing that's pretty important is if they do end up locking up home field at least through the NFC Championship game, that could be significant. Yeah, they're probably going to have to travel to Philly, and I wouldn't pick them to win that. But I think kind of if they could gain some confidence, figure out a little bit on defense, maybe how you bend, don't break, um, as opposed to giving up all those yards and don't give them up in, uh, touchdowns in the red zone, maybe they could get onto something because their offense is pretty dangerous. And Kirk Cousins, I know he takes a lot of heat, but I think he could be dangerous in a postseason as well for the first time, maybe able to silence some of his critics. Yeah, I think if it was a normal year in the North, we're talking 13, 14 wins for the Packers. We're having a different conversation about this Vikings team right now, but where they stand and what's in front of them, uh, it's going to be interesting to see if they rise to the occasion. It is the Colts here on Saturday. They've been stewing over that beating at the hands of the Cowboys for 13 days now. Uh, catching a short three and a half on the road. Totals coming in at 47 and a half. DK, what's your read on the numbers? So I, I, it's got you look at this and you're like, oh, the Vikings going to win this game easy. The Colts are a mess. But I think this is too many points right here. I, and if anything, look at the point differential where they're minus one despite their 10 and three record. Mm. I, the Vikings will find a way to win. I'm going to go ahead and snatch up the three and a hook. If it was a field goal, you'd feel like, man, maybe it's going to be a push. But I love the fact that there's a hook here. So I'll take the Colts. I think they can find out a way. I think Matt Ryan can pass against this uh, defense that, uh, that Pete has mentioned is really struggling against the pass. They have not clearly gotten anything that they thought they were going to get out of the season out of Jonathan Taylor. I think Jeff Saturday at least keeps them in the fight. And they've lost three games in a row. That honeymoon phase is worn off, and it looks like they're probably heading a different direction. But in this one, a full field goal and a hook, I'll go ahead and take those points all day long, especially against this Viking team. It, it was, until they prove people otherwise, I'm going to say they win, but they win ugly yet again. Yeah, I'm on the other side of this, and in large part because, look, we talked about it. The Vikings can't stop the pass, but it's not like uh, Indianapolis has this explosive pass offense. They just don't. They've had all kinds of problems on the offensive line. They've had all kinds of trouble protecting Matt Ryan. He's taken a beating uh, over the course of his time playing this year. They've been really bad at times, a little better uh, recently, but they're still going to have problems. The Vikings do have 34 sacks, and they can create uh, some pass rush pressure with their outside rushers, and I think that's going to be the difference in this game. I just don't think the 
Colts are good enough passing the football to move it consistently, so I'm going to take the Vikings and lay the points. It's not a big game. Kirk Cousins will play well. <laughs> He's got to sneak a couple in there. Uh, what if we're looking to round out the early card here with some player props, guys? Let's start on the Vikings side, Pete. Is there a number out there that catches your eye, maybe doesn't meet the expectation you have for this game? Yeah, I'm going to go with Justin Jefferson's longest reception over 27 and a half yards. I mean, he, he has 25, 20 plus pass plays this year. He mm. has six over 40. And you look at the Colts, and, and they're another team that plays a lot of off coverage, although Gus Bradley's adjusted a little bit. He blitzes a little more than he used to. But I think there's going to be opportunities for him when he does get those one on one chances to hit the big play. You don't stop this guy. I mean, he's having a phenomenal year. He's arguably the best receiver in the National Football League. Uh, and I think he's going to have another big day here. So I'm going to go over 27 and a half for his longest reception. I'm going to go to the run game and look at Dalvin Cook, uh, who I think is really, as much as we talk about Kirk Cousins and Justin Jefferson, I think this offense wants to be built around that run game. And I'm going to go over his rushing total. It's elevated. It's been up to 70.5 uh, 70 right now. He's been over his rushing total 62% of the time this year. He averages 73 yards a game, which is over this number. So I think he gets it today in one of those games where they realize the importance of establishing the ground game because they saw last week you can get a lot of, a lot of Jeff, Justin Jefferson, but that doesn't necessarily translate to wins. But really, when Dalvin Cook runs the ball, that's when the whole offense opens up. All right, so a couple plays there on the key cogs in that Vikings offense. Colt side of the equation. Uh, Danny, based off your game script, where should we be looking for a prop? I'm going to go with Matt Ryan, and, and this kind of parlays into everything that we've talked about today. We know how bad the Vikings' pass defense is, and yet at the same time, we also know how much the Colts struggle to protect the passer. So what do you do? You get short, quick passes, and that plays right into the Vikings playing a lot of that off coverage. So get the ball out of Matt Ryan's hands. You still want to take advantage of the pass game, so do it often. I think I'm going to go at his pass attempts and go over 34 and a half, which I think Matt Ryan will be over easily on the day. By the way, I already hit my first prop. I had Danny at plus 200 that he would pick a Florida State Seminole as one of his props, so I won that one already. Where'd you find that uh, number? Look, I'm, That was minus 200. <laughs> I, I was going to say, that was heavy yeah. minus money. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's only well, – how many Seminoles are in the game that you could have picked as your playmaker? I mean, I, it was so obvious. I mean, come on, Danny, 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 Danny. I'm going to go with Alec Pierce anytime touchdown, and I talked about – the defensive pass coverages for the Vikings. They're frustrating to watch. I mean, they play so much off coverage, and yet I still think they're vulnerable to the pass. So I think there's going to be one of those big hits down the field for Pierce, who's really emerged in recent weeks. I think he's going to be a guy. It's a flyer. Anytime touchdown plus 245, go win yourself a nice Christmas money by petting that one. There it is. It's the NFL on Saturday with Pete Prisco and Danny Canal. Fellas, great work as always. Enjoy the action. Here's a look at those plays. Pete's going to give you the Vikings. Uh, Jefferson, longest reception over 27 and a half. Love that one right there. And then some value at plus 245, maybe even north of that by kick. Alec Pierce, anytime touchdown. Danny Cannell, he likes the Colts, the under. Dalvin Cook over his 69 and a half rushing yards. And Matt Ryan going to throw it all over the yard, over 34 and a half attempts. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.